Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to style the home page of our application. So as far as the functionality of our application is concerned, we are basically done in here. So uh, these four, uh, I think I'm just going to uh, summarize them in four different lectures. I'm not going to do all of the styling in one lecture because it's, it tends to be a little bit overwhelming. So uh, if I complete it all, it, it doesn't mean that it is difficult. It's not. It's just a little bit, a lot of code for CSS whenever you're trying to style something. I'm not going to, I'm not trying to scare you away. So first off, what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and provide uh, some images. So this is the root folder for uh, this project. And we know that within the static folder, we need to provide our CSS files, uh, images and uh, JavaScript files. So I'm just going to copy those, put them here. So this is going to be the background for the um, uh, for the uh, this is the background for the add question, for the quiz, for the remove question. We don't have any background image for uh, the welcome page. We just have some colors. So there we go. So within the static, the first CSS file that I'm going to create is going to be welcome dot uh, CSS. Now there is a lot of ways that you can trace your HTML to your CSS. I'm just going to go through the simplest route. I'm going to link it. So within the link, I'm just going to grab that, uh, that CSS file, uh, pluck it from its current folder. So now keep that in mind that we are within the templates folder. We need to get out of this template fo templates folder, go inside the static folder, and then grab the welcome.css. So you need to be very careful how the structure works. So we are right here within the templates, get out of this directory, go inside of this directory. So to be able to get out of any directory, you just have to provide in a slash. Then where do we want to go? We want to go into static from the static uh, what do we want to get, grab? We want to grab welcome.css, and that's how simple it is. Let's save that, and now HTML and CSS are linked together. Um, I'm just going to close this window. Let's go into CSS. So I'm going to start by providing some universal styling. So I want to grab all the elements, and I want to I want to grab their margin, make it zero. Uh, grab their padding and make it zero, and I'm going to grab the box sizing set it to border box. We have talked about this as well. Then I'm going to grab the body and I'm going to change the font family. So where is font family? There we go. I'm going to change it to Arial sans serif and I'm going to give it a background color. So the background color is going to have a code of 2F5D62. Uh, Let's save everything. Um, there we go. Let's come here. Let's refresh the page. There we go. Oh, it is uh, grabbing all the styles, even though I've not provided that. Um, I probably should change the name. So I'm just going to change the name of the CSS file. I'm going to change it to home.css because I think it is overlapping with the other editor that I've got open. So let's just click there and just refresh this one, refresh this one. Click on this one. Um, the background color, let me just open up the uh, inspector, refresh the page. Let's just take a look at that. So here is our body. Here is the body. Um, hmm. So we, we have applied the margin, but we have not applied the body styling. So, oh, because this is misspelled, that is why. So let's just save that. Let's come here. Let's reload the page. There we go. So, so far, so good, right? All these styles, they are being applied. We are going to go step by step whenever any declaration block is completed. Now, uh, I'm going to give this body just to make sure uh, we are staying uh, diverse. I'm just going to give it a class and I'm going to call it container. This is a common practice. Um, and you could provide these styles within the body, but I do not want to clutter the body element name itself. So I'm just going to provide it in the container. And in case you're wondering, you could provide it within the body as well. So I'm going to say display flex. We have not talked about flex. Uh, flex is basically an alignment property and it is usually applied on the body. I'm not going to go over it a lot, 
uh, we are just using it to align stuff on the screen and I'm going to say the flex direction should be column all the elements should be on top of each other and vertically um, sorry horizontally they should be in the center so let's reload the page there we go so horizontally they're in the center I'm just aligning our web page now I'm just gonna provide some styling for h1 as well so I'm gonna say h1 come on buddy h1 uh, the color has to be white font size I'm gonna increase it to 70 pixels text align is going to be center and I'm gonna say letter spacing is gonna be two pixels these are basic styling we have talked about them so they're very very simple two pixels two pixels I'm gonna give it a font weight like that font thickness I'm gonna reduce its thickness to 100 I'm gonna give it a padding which is going to be applied on all four sides 20 pixels and a margin which is going to be applied on all four sides of 20 pixels so let's save all the changes let's reload the page there we go so let's move on I'm gonna grab H2 and I'm gonna give it a color of white do we have an H2 in here we don't have any H2 why have I provided that um, hmm. I'm just gonna keep it here we even I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove it we don't have an H2 so next up uh, we are gonna grab our list items or allies I'm gonna say list style none list style is going to handle these circular discs that you can see here it's gonna remove those so I'm gonna say none I'm gonna grab their color and I'm gonna set it to white the background color is going to be this color I'm just gonna copy paste it right here so it's going to be HSL a the a stands for alpha it's a transparency channel so whenever you have a color that has an alpha channel of one it means it is um, fully block it's not transparent at all but if it is zero it means it's 100% transparent so we are basically changing the transparency of the allies background a little bit margin I'm gonna say for top and bottom margin I'm gonna provide 15 pixels for left and right I'm gonna say zero so when you have two values in the margin the first first value applies to margin top and bottom the second value applies for margin right and left these are short hands so font size I'm gonna provide it 20 pixels there is a cool property that is cursor pointer whenever you hover on the li it is going to be um, hover you can see that it is it's going to change to a hand icon <clears throat> excuse me to a hand icon let's uh, style the anchor tags as well I'm going to say display inline block the reason that I set it to display inline block is this way they're going to accept the padding on their top and bottom because anchor elements are by default inline level elements they do not accept paddings so I'm just to just uh, make sure that it, they accept padding on top and bottom left right all sides we are going to say display inline block and I'm going to say padding for top and bottom 25 pixels and for left and right 40 pixels again when there are two values they are the same exactly the same as we had where were the margins uh, oh right here so the first value applies to padding top padding bottom the second value applies to padding right and left and I'm gonna style the uh, the new question as well so if I come here we have this class for our button which is going to for our link which is going to create a new question it is a class that's why we prefix it with a dot so I'm gonna say padding should be 25 pixels a margin bottom should be uh, 20 pixels font size should be 20 pixels as well and background color I'm just gonna give it a background color of uh, RGBA again alpha channel 255 255 255 the alpha channel is going to be 0 0.2 let's save that let's reload the page uh, there we go <clears throat> excuse me there are two things that I forgot to mention here uh, the color of the anchor elements has to be white and let's save that let's take a look at that 
So you can see they have an underline beneath them. So to get rid of that, you need to say text decoration none. So now this looks like the home page of the application in the introduction of this section. That's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, I'm going to style. So we are done with this. In the next lecture, I'm going to style quiz uh, this page. And uh, in the, on the other lectures, I'm going to style the other two remaining pages. So see you guys then.